Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today we're making icebox desserts. Today you're gonna be getting two videos for the price of one. I've teamed up with my friend Jill over at Yester Kitchen to bring you two of the best icebox desserts ever. Her channel is all about retro foods and where they come from. So if you wanna learn about your favorite food and its history, go and check her out. So we are gonna be making a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup icebox cake guys we're gonna start out with our pudding so in our pan we're gonna be putting our cocoa powder our sugar our salt and our cornstarch you want to put all of that into your pan no heat right now you just want to combine all of the ingredients really really well so now we're gonna go in with our milk and today I'm just using whole milk but whatever milk you have will work now working on a low heat, we're just gonna whisk everything constantly until it thickens up. We're on about a medium heat, I would say, medium low. And we're gonna kill the heat, add in a tab of butter and some extract, and this is vanilla extract. You wanna give this a stir and then set it aside and let it chill completely. Now we're gonna work on our peanut butter layer. So in my bowl, I have some peanut butter and some regular butter, and they are both room temperature. I've added a pinch of salt, and we're gonna go in with our powdered sugar right here. We're gonna give this a whisk, and it's gonna take a couple of minutes. This is what you're looking for. This is the texture or the consistency that you want. And we're gonna set this to the side and work on our last here. Right here, we've got some heavy whipping cream in a bowl. We're whipping it up. We're adding some powdered sugar, a pinch of salt, a little vanilla. And you just wanna whip this until it gets nice and thick. And then we're gonna add a container of marshmallow flour. We're gonna give it one last whip and then it's time for assembly, guys. Don't forget to go and check out my friend Jill over at Yester Kitchen. She is linked down below. Now we're building this cake. So I'm using graham crackers, although you could use any cookie or any cracker that you want. Now I'm putting our peanut butter layer on and that is not originally how I planned it. I planned it a little bit differently, but we will talk about that a little bit later in the video, but it did not cause any problems. After the peanut butter layer, I just went in with another layer of graham crackers. And here is our chilled pudding and we're gonna just spread that around until it's nice and even or as even as you can get it. Another layer of graham crackers. And you wanna be pressing the graham crackers in just very lightly. And we're gonna put half of our whipped cream layer. After I spread that out, I just went in with some pieces of Reese's peanut butter cups. And you guessed it, another layer of graham crackers. Here's our last layer of the whipped cream. Now you wanna spread this out evenly, cover it in saran wrap and put it in the fridge overnight. Here it is the next day. Now we're just gonna decorate it. And like I've said many times before, I am no professional decorator, so just decorate it however you like. I'm going in with some crushed graham crackers right here. So I said earlier that we would talk about the layering of this cake. You can layer it however you like, but I would prefer to have the pudding on the bottom. The peanut butter layer kind of made like a moisture seal for the crackers and they were a bit crunchy still on the bottom. 
but I actually thought it was really great. The texture was wonderful, but if you want it to be soft all the way through, make sure you layer the pudding first. So right there, I just went in with some chocolate sauce and you're in my favorite caramel sauce. I'm putting some extra Reese's peanut butter cups because why not? And now let's cut a slice of this cake, guys. There it is. It is so delicious, you guys. I really hope that you give this Reese's peanut butter cup a try. Also, go check out my friend Joe. Let her know that I sent you. That's it, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and come back to my kitchen anytime. This was seriously so good. Really.